Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel. I am so excited to start the game The Council today. I have talked about wanting to play this game numerous times in my community, whether it's on Twitch or Discord. And so I'm really excited to start it out this early Sunday morning. It looks like it was released in 2018. And it is, in fact, an episodic game. And so there's a total of five episodes. And I can't say that I've played a whole lot of episodic interactive games, but I think it kind of draws me in the same way that Until Dawn, or I guess those are kind of done in episodes. It's a little bit different. Um, it looks like this actually, the first episode was released in March and then May and July, September and December. So they took almost an entire year to put out this whole game. And so, of course, I'm coming to the party at three or four years late. But look, that way, now I get to do all of them in a row and you don't have to wait and be blue balls, you know? <laughs> That's like my biggest problem with like movies that release one episode at a time. I just wait and binge it all. That's my style. So here we are. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um... If you're unfamiliar with the game, I will try to give a brief synopsis, but according to the wiki, it looks like you are a main character, a French man named Louis, who is in search of his recently missing mother, Sarah, the head of the French branch of a secret society known as the Golden Order. All right, so secret society stuff, influential political figures, mystery, something about George Washington, Napoleon, cool stuff. So there is like a, I guess, real character development in this, or I guess real life events. It looks like it heavily features real life paintings and books, sculptures and settings and puzzles. Yes, there's lots of puzzles. So I uh, this is going to be interesting. The developer is actually Big Bad Wolf, and I know they're coming out with Vampire the Masquerade, which is, um, set to come out actually May 19th this year and it looks like it's going to be a role-playing game so I'm excited to see what that's about if I enjoy this but you know what I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough I'm excited to finally get started on it so without further ado the council let's get started <laughs> I know I'm going to need to turn down the volume in a second. France, Paris, December 10th, 1792. Oh. <clears throat> Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Hmm. Nothing. Not it's a gotta sound. be my mother. That goes missing. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. I'm pretty As sure my you, nose is just like that. I don't even think I got it. Nothing will remain of your point. body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. The mutton chops. No, Louis. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Witch Hazel? You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. Hmm, a book. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. I'm not a fan of the main character's voice. It doesn't match his Oh, but you will body. tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. <laughs> oh, he looks like Stop a villain in our game. He looks like the villain in our game. That's what it is. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes, and my concoction will be ready. Mm. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother. The only thing you've ever taught me is that damn uh, motto of yours. This is good. It's going to have some humor in it. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Ooh. 
Von Borchard. Mom's gonna bop him. Von Borchard. Mm hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want <laughs> to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh, oh, I didn't know it was going to be a choice-based game. No. <laughs> I'm notorious for picking the worst things. Okay. Oh, fiddlesticks. Uh, I feel like we should trust mom, but how long did... Oh, okay. Hold on. They do give you multiple options. Do we trust mom? Do we act? Oh, this is like until dawn all over again, except nobody lives. <laughs> I say we, we don't know anything about the characters. I clearly got her shackles unlocked. If I got hers unlocked, uh, I guess, why couldn't she do it for me? I think we need to trust her since she's the one who doesn't have them. Although if I'm acting, I'm probably gonna do something like hit him in the head or maybe headbutt him and then they'll give her time while he's like, I don't know, while he's messed up to go attack her. Mm -hmm. Act first. What is it? Uh, let's choose act. Oh, I was. Oh. I thought it was just her who didn't have one. Oh. Trait unlocked. Scared. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We didn't even see a bullet. We would not even seen blood For upon God's impact. For God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. Let me see. <sighs> you know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your <sighs> nose. It's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You oh. ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Can't you be happy for once? I finally... We finally cracked the Von Borchardt case? He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. Would we have actually kept him alive? How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more mm. important than you can ever imagine. Right, let's go now. So she's clearly keeping something from us. I feel like we should find out the secret recipe for that concoction he was gonna build though, cause that could come in, that could come in handy later. Dissolve a body in four hours? That's some serious stuff. I do like how it, like, let me see real quick. Let me try to turn down the volume. Um, I love how it throws, wait, hold on. A game that doesn't start you at a hundred? Oh, already, already getting better in the books for me. That's kind of awesome. I have yet to find a game that doesn't start at blasting your eardrums out at volume a hundred. Um, so, so far, they really throw you, like, straight into it. And, you know, starting a game with a death, never a bad thing. Alright, let's resume. One month later, January 20th, 1793. Is it still France, though? Lord Mortimer's Island off the coast of England. I want to see how big the developer team was for this and how long it took them to create it. That's always one of the most intriguing points for me and what I usually... I don't judge a lot of games, I just play them and enjoy them, but I think that's always something to add into consideration. One of the reasons to this day why Hollow Knight has always blown my mind with its small, like how little their developing team was for such a fantastic game. I'm well getting done, fable vibes you from it. You just had to take up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he Mortimer? writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. <laughs> At least he has nice arches, though. <laughs> the Council, Episode One: The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. kind of healing. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. 
Damn. I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Look at that back. It was not the host himself who invited me. That dress is defying well, gravity. Is. We find ourselves both invited by Star Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We Give her some purple eyes and call her Yennefer. <laughs> but as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? I am interested in finding out if I wouldn't have a scar running across my face had I let my mom take it care of it. This is further reason why you can't work. Like, working with family, that would be too stressful. Uh, let's say business with him. Personal reason is too ambiguous and it could raise more questions. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like mysterious. a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? Damn it, I should have said personal. <laughs> right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Um, it's always, <laughs> it's always such a hard choice because you don't know exactly how much your choices are going to make a difference. And you, Duchess, you seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. Mm. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether no, you no. better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious. This is like the most dangerous game I island stuff. I did not stuff. mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, de Duchess. De Richet. A de Richet. A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. <laughs> Are you all right? A vision? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so? What? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. The Duchess might be part of the Golden sure? Order. Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. That must be the the guy who no. in silence. <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay. <laughs> oh. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? Seeing fla like, so flashes on? of the future. Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Look how green better? his eyes are. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? 
Yes! I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Hmm. So I'm guessing we haven't had those visions before. I wonder if it's gonna happen with other people. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. She Am did say... Or what? This can't be real. The, All right. That just arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? My mother did say I'm more important Perhaps than I ever realized. God, watching his posture makes me feel horrible. <laughs> Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Hmm. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Y oh, okay, choose your class. Choose a class to find your basic skills. The other skills will still be available by unlocking them, but unlocking them will be a bit more expensive. Huh. All right, so we have diplomat. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker. Oh, a silver tongue. He avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. That could be a useful skill, especially if we're going into this island that clearly has pretty pristine people on it. Politics is his field of predilection. The oculist, the oculist <clears throat> is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Seems a little bit more on the cold side. And the detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as people. Oh, okay. I do like that skill. As long as in people he questions. That, like, I guess in terms of, like, what our objective is to find our mother, that seems like that's going to play the biggest role for us. A hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. Uh... The occultist, I'm not, I don't know why I can say that at first. The occultist, I'm not worried about. That's really not my forte. I don't think it's going to lend as much benefit as much as the detective or diplomat. It seems a little bit cold hearted. The diplomat shines in society. Uh, maybe the detective is like the obvious choice. <laughs> Question. Oh, OK. So questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility and logic. Manipulate. Uh, yeah, manipulation. Sciences, politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diver er, diversion. I at first was really drawn towards diplomat, but I think I'm going to go with detective just because the when you look at like the raw skills, because it says that you can unlock some of the other ones later on, the like genuinely like baseline skills, these seem more important and it looks like I could pick up I don't really care about picking up any of those. Maybe sciences. This one, the etiquette and conviction would be really nice. And the politics as well. But I feel like in terms of like raw skills, I can pick up more of these along the way. So let's start with the detective. Oh. All right. So we have three points available. Detective unlocks you. You now have seven effort points to use your skill. Your past granted, okay, your past granted you one skill in conviction and your past, oh, do you think that was because of my choice? That must have been my choices earlier. Your past granted you one skill in manipulation. This is a really cool build on the episodic and like choice based game. Like actually getting to develop your skills further will probably change. I don't know if it changes the dialogue, but it might change your options as well. And so you can use three to max it out. It looks like. Two points before left for level one. So you're even leveling them up even further. Interesting. Very cool. So I actually, based on my past, was put into the two categories that I didn't pick. <laughs> I was put into diversion and what is it? Diversion manipulation. OK, so <laughs> I think we're going to want to go Vigilance, I like that because the more things that we pick up, I feel like the more pieces we're going to be able to put together. So let's build one into that. Questioning could be good as well. Reading people's behavior like an open book sounds really good. 
use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Let's put one into questioning and then I'm tempted to go ahead and put a third one into vigilance or a second one into vigilance, but I think I'm going to go with psychology and just get a couple at least unlocked and in that category. And just send it. Well, over the last few years, I've solved Trade a number of detected. crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. I'm hearing an echo. I shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say mm. I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Oh, she did start to say that, didn't she? You do remember me. Not at all so lie to her. Oh, I guess I have been. I have a little bit of manipulation. But I feel like everything I've said up to this point makes it seem like I don't know her. So let's be genuine with the Duchess. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. Oh, damn. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? Okay, four years no. ago. That's Sorry, a long time. I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to how the normal. I mean, yeah, four years ago, but realistically, how would you not remember? And especially dropping a name. Your skill allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most subject suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to unlock it. Okay. Oh. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Hold on. So I had the choice to choose two points there, and I chose her lip. But I guess I could have failed that if I chose her necklace? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is a crucial... Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, personal skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed. Vulnerability revealed. Interesting. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't... Hold on. I just discovered one right there. Ah, all right. Immunity is logic to be discovered. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess close to the English crown. Very discreet about her origins, Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding. That some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. <laughs> Look, can you blame her? Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the queen, which is what probably prompted her prime minister, William Pitt, to say, okay, so William Pitt is the prime minister, to take her as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's. I'm not saying that right. I think it's Mortimer's. Mortimer's Island because for nothing in the world would she miss one of the famed receptions. Which means that I also think that there's something she wants out of Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation. Especially if she's acting on behalf of William Pitt and possibly the Queen. So definitely harbors a lot of secrets and so she's susceptible to logic 
This only son of Sarah, Louis Moraz de Richet, Richet, is a young Parisian aristocrat. Ever since he was a young child, Louis moved in his mother's circles, and so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. Ah, I wonder, precocious, Louis progressed quickly at her side, despite the daily treatment his mother prescribed for his chronic migraines. So I think what I had earlier maybe is one of those chronic migraines. He climbed the ladder um, until he was able to assist his mother in the occult cases, for which he was particularly talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Everything pointed to one day, young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. Um, I wonder if he's 18 because Emily spoke towards meeting him when he was deciding two choices in his careers. And so it makes sense that maybe he was 14 when he decided to join the Order. So maybe that was when he was deciding what he really wanted to do. I don't know if I could work that closely with my mother. <laughs> That's pretty, I mean, like, I guess they're trying to groom him to take over the family business. But I'm interested to see what is, like, within the Golden Order. What are they protecting? There's a lot of um, ambiguity right there. And then Sarah to be discovered. Sarah, oh, okay, so also your, okay, so parts of your, of their immunity and the other thing are going to be discovered as you interact with them. Sarah Faustine is a rich French aristocrat. 34 years ago, took to the, wait, 34 years ago, how old is she? <laughs> Sarah took one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society. Politics, trade, transactions, secrets of state, or paranormal spheres. The order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, Central Africa, and Central Africa. Not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which I'm hoping the game goes into a little bit more, which she took care of personally. Since he was a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis, to become the new face of the Golden Order. I want to know how she lost her hand. <laughs> All right, Giuseppe. His eminence, the Cardinal Giuseppe, is the legate, legate of Pope Pius VI. A distinguished speaker, Giuseppe worked throughout the, his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science and an amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope, who discreetly named him Cardinal in Pector. He was thus able to use his relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Oh! And then I think he was invited for... Delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the entrance of the Holy See. And, okay, a map, a very vague map. Talents as well. Cool, okay. And then we have our traits, which we gained one spill, okay. You have decided to act against your mother's will and you chose the detective. About mask. my mother, do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Which is to be expected if she's the head of the order. I don't like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Hmm. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer interesting improvements. Um, I wonder if the talents can hold a negative connotation. Diplomatic mastery. <clears throat> Increased. Manipulation. Halves the fake elements displayed during an opportunity. Huh. It doesn't appear like any of them will be like a negative on your interactions or anything, but might change what you're persuaded to say or maybe your dialogue options. Okay, I know it says to go up to the manor. However, oh. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name? <laughs> okay, please? never mind. Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur I'm trying de Richet, to explore. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. 
You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother Never as trust quickly as possible. Why is he wearing a mask? He must be Sarah de Richet. Okay. Where is Lord? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? I think we should try to Two interview anybody we can as we go. Mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But, sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem a that sir's <laughs> mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? Clearly, she's On several occasions, threatened. we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. Which means After she wants me to find them. None of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices. I told you. <laughs> or wait, I think I was saying that about talents, but still, that's cool. The higher your skill level, the lower. I actually really like this game because choice-based games and game, I don't know, just games with like unique dialogue, it makes you just be a little bit more analytical in your choices. Maybe that's just me. I'm sure like some people still just act on, you know, if they want to be like good or bad or like sometimes you want to like have a certain playthrough but i try to be extremely analytical when choosing these options it was a little bit different in until dawn because you have a wendigo on your tail so i'm just kind of trying to survive um but this will be really cool looks like a puppet master we think that okay we do have a timer as well we think that the person is where have you found anything difficulty questioning level one which i should okay and did you find anything then we discovered a certain amount exploited of damage, vulnerability sir. On the wood. Hold on. Hold up. Wait. Vulnerability questioning to be discovered. Okay. Part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary. And that's because I put into repair. the questioning category. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, trying our to get something. The wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sarah's mother. A handkerchief. Imagine a handkerchief if I hadn't asked him about the this. Initials S -D -R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sarah's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. And I not her son? She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing chief? Docks, <laughs> the one you arrived by. Um. Oh, okay. So the. <laughs> would you kindly? I mean, I guess you can only go one option. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I. I've traveled hard for several days oh. in order to get here. Yes. You but tell him. by your master. No. Course, Go because in. my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. Get him. <laughs> and having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Hmm. Do you think, and Is you can comment this. Handkerchief, mother. Hold on. He must have come here first. Okay, do you think it would have been improved if, as a Frenchman, he had a French accent? That's, like, something that I still never understand with games, is you never get the same accent as, like, where they're from. But... Specific reason. I need to it doesn't add... I don't know if it adds or takes away from it that much, but... What could she be doing out here the, on dwarf? <laughs> what do I always say? The realism. <laughs> Hold down to move faster. Hold on. I was about to explore this way anyway. Let me see because they did put one category. Yeah, I put one category into yes, yes, this kind of stuff. How do I enter? Seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Never underestimate. Must be an incredible view oh. from up there. 
Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. But that's not the only entrance onto the island. It can't be. <laughs> Maybe the only official way. Looks like Is a bar from blood? the old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. A weapon? The tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. I mean, I say we take it. It might not hurt anything. This might just come in handy. Plus, we can compare it to any of the places that we find. All right, so we do have an inventory. So we have the handkerchief. We have Emily's handkerchief. And the Mortimer's invitation. Oh, we hadn't read this, did we? Or I think maybe it was read to us when we were coming on. The art of knowing people by their physio... I'm not going to pretend this out. But we got a skill in psychology just for receiving the book. I thought I saw these glints when we were coming onto the island or when I was going to talk to Emily. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Royal Jelly. But where did it go? Oh, it's right here. I'm still trying to figure out the effort points. That's going to be like a learn as we go kind of thing. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. Huh. How can you tell that nobody's touched it for a long a lantern. time? lantern. Nothing special. So it's not taking effort points to do any of this. I think the effort points are in regards to conversations with individuals. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find clue. Difficulty three, logic level one. We have access to that? Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize mm. your handwriting anywhere, mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So, that just Dear took Samuel, up three points. My stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? Hmm. I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. He might already be Thank here. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly. Sarah Faustine. I mean, how often do the letters go out? What's your game here, mother? <laughs> secrets, always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Imagine being her son. Like, imagine it's being like four years old and she's giving you complex out. puzzles. This is Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up. Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Hmm. Oh no, I don't have politics. No! I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. Oh, that bothers me but that you get locked out of just options. Keep face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it <sighs> soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Uh, let's try consuming some of that jelly, because it should give us two effort points back. Oh, I don't like that noise. Look for mother's clues or go to the manor. Um, you know what? I think it wouldn't have cost an effort if we had looked through the letters individually. And maybe it would have taken up more time. Uh, we can maybe still interact. Hold on. Let's see what's hidden inside. Examine the letters one at a time. You can also exhaust, I guess, certain dialogues. Oh. There's other letters, too. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The music in the background sounds like music in the background of Fable. Like when you're traveling through Albion. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Ah, uh, no. L linguistics. I think I was saying logistics earlier. Linguistics would have been really good. 
Damn. I have the slightest idea what it says. I wonder how easy it is to acquire skill points. The dressies in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. To Brazil. Examine other letters. Probably a Dutchman. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. This is still good, though. This is definitely good. His outreach, his outreach seems stronger than the orders. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Mm. Oh, occultism. Damn. This name sounds familiar. Prashi, Prashi, Prashi. No. Can't seem to place it. All right, let's stand back. I don't think I have any more skills, but I would have thought after having conversations with the servant, it would have unlocked more skill point levels. Okay, I guess upon task completion or something, we'll get more. I think I looked over there. There was nothing to my knowledge. Let's speed this up a little bit. That boat isn't the one that we came from. Oh. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Oh, okay. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Probably. Okay, tell me it's not annoying that there's like little blue glints from the reflection of something sprinkled throughout, and it makes me think that they're all. The barrel's been broken for quite some time. They're all these. They did say that my mother was interested in the barrels on the island. Oh. oh, I almost missed that. More jelly. <laughs> Give me the loot. Mm, there's something right here, actually. <gasps> oh. Hey. There's something not right about this floorboard. They're clearly it's not really looking for her. Rip up the floorboard. <laughs> I think I have that just because I went detective mode, actually. There we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. Hairbrush. Her things. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And it's judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. You're crying out loud. What's happened to you, Mother? Look through her things. That did cost me quite a bit. All right, manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Awesome. Let's look inside. That is what we had over here. The art of knowing people, I think I will end up putting into that. Oh, but that's cool too, because that covers science, which I did speak to wanting. Back. A little food, a few toiletries, a small Is that key, an onion? <laughs> some kind of black powder. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some black powder. Give me that key. An iron key completely rusted. Take the I key. Know. Might be useful. I hope mother wasn't counting on it. She left these here for a reason. Also, you know, fruit. if you want to take the bread She's and the berries, that would be nice too. Bread. The fruit's still firm. Where's the bacon? The bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. Okay, maybe don't take the rationed. food. <laughs> There's enough left to last two more days. Mm. Examine the powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. The gunpowder. Shit, those are definitely my Don't go things. through her underwear. I recognize her hairpins. <clears throat> this bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap, some oils, and her powder pot. That's why she was down here. This What's is where she's this hiding her, like, goods. So she keeps coming down here probably to, like, get the food and the rations out and certain things. So maybe I should have left that key. <laughs> I think right. it's too late now. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. I don't know. I refuse to like, I think based on 
Why did you hide supplies in the, in the middle, middle of nowhere? nowhere but it really wasn't the you middle of nowhere. What's going on here? But you obviously feel like you're in danger. I feel. Oh, let me consume some jelly. Let's just go ahead and max that out. I really feel like she wasn't accidentally doing that, or it wasn't meant for her to come back to, because if that were the case, I don't think she would have made it so obvious. And this is what the rusty key is for. And this is where, does it look like it's missing a bar in between those? It is. This is where the bar was. In between those two pieces. Sure enough. Never get it open barehanded. I can't pick the lock. Use the iron key. Uh, let's try using the iron bar on it, and then we can still keep the key. I don't know if it'll give me a second choice, though. Clearly, I'm not much manual labor. <laughs> if I can get it open another way. So I think what's cool about this is even if you like miss something like the key, you can still have other options like forcing it open, picking the lock. But I don't have to waste any of my jelly. There we are. Or my agility. What is it? My. There's something here. Just goods. This looks like a pistol case, mm. but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. <laughs> That's fair. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Except now the Duchess is going to die because of it. Great, honey. <laughs> Wait, is he calling the royal jelly the honey? Can you hold hmm, This wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. The gunpowder. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Ah, wait, oh, uh, damn it. We have access to science. We just can't do it yet. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person <sighs> who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread, bread. between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters. Reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. Hold on one second. I'm gonna try to. I don't think I can turn up the. I really wanted to turn up the brightness. <laughs> so odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. Amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase the maximum effort point by one. I think I was maxed anyway. A fragment of amber. Damn. A fragment of amber. I don't like that noise. Okay. All right, let's head on up to the manor. I think I discovered everything. I like that they've kind of evenly distributed all the possibilities depending on which uh, skill you chose. So it doesn't necessarily punish you for picking a certain class. Oh, wait, on the ground, right? Yeah. Latin inscription. Anesis, mi fili, Pontilia produncia mundus orgatur. Ah, uh, I cannot translate that. Carpadium. Damn, you could have done it if you went, ah. I knew I should have gotten political. I just felt like that was going to be the. The linguist side would have been extremely helpful. We should probably put into that as soon as possible because this is not going to be the last time we run into a dialogue issue. Dialect issue. Ooh. I like that they have a task and they give you a little check mark as a uh, task oriented person. That's very satisfying. The manor at the top of a rocky outcrop. He wanted an isolated area. I don't think the guy who bursted into the door is actually going to be Montemer, though. I think that's somebody else. OK. 
how the door is so impressive by itself. I think it's right to show me something. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was Look supposed to hand her arm. a very important envelope. Is it tattoo? But I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Persuade him to entrust anyway, the letter to you. I ought to take the envelope. It might have something Aww. to do with her disappearance. I don't know if Listen, I have the political skills for this. Help, you can always give it to me. Confrontation start. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. I do have one point of manipulation. <laughs> Confrontations have consequences on the rest of your story, so don't hesitate to use your skill. Oh gosh. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. Three blunders left. I'd rather left. deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. One blunder. Do you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Never mind, give me your letter. Maybe not the most silver-tongued approach. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. Mm. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son. I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope in that occult. you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. Oh, so he's already if your mother interested wishes me. to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work well, together. What do you do exactly? So, ah, this is a hard question because he obviously knows about her work. And the fact that his mother was really putting into the occult part of it, I feel like the Pope and the church would need to have a piece in that. Although I think I'm instantly thinking like, <laughs> I'm instantly thinking of exorcisms. That's like where my mind goes to. <laughs> um, demons. Ah, uh, oh, Professional secret, sorry. I almost feel like that is the wrong answer. I feel like we need to show him that we trust him in order for him to entrust us. My mother and I yeah. belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which Maybe I joined not so a few secret. years ago. <laughs> mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger it, that you no. and your mother work for a secret <laughs> society. It. it would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. Yeah. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. <sighs> Shit. I need one more go. All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. That was so stupid. Is there any other solution? Look. If it's of any help, you can always leave Don't your talk about envelope Fight Club. with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see it. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been... All right, successful. last go. Do you think I should give it to you? Oh gosh, I didn't even realize pretend I don't want it. You can count on me. Yes, I'll give it to her if I find it. I kind of want to spend the points because I feel like that's an insured success, but maybe it's not. And then I'm going to also be down at three squeegee points or little jelly points. You can count on me. Yes, I'll give it to her. It depends on what it contains. <laughs> Only you know that. Oh, eminence. that's good. If you're asking that's me if you good. can trust me or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it Whoa. all depends on the nature Whoa. of the contents of your letter. <laughs> Let's go! It is a list of names. 
This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one oh. than your mother will read it? We're not in the clear yet. Confrontation, last step. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince that the people, the person you were talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you've either given the right. Oh, okay, okay, so at least it's not a total failure. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Promise. Oh. No, thank you, no. Okay, no worries. Oh, can you promise me? I forgot. I mean, okay. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your oh, life. Oh, not trusting. Good. Oh. Listen, let's stop there. I just lied. I'm going to tell you a secret, <laughs> Monsieur Del. <laughs> your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face oh, a massacre wow. organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. Mm. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. So we need to not forget that, but well, the- Well, I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. She really is entrusting me with a lot of information. How am I supposed to take over as head of the order eventually if she's not including me in 99% of her plans? Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Okay, so before we join the group at the chimney, let's- Yeah. Well, I don't want to leave quite yet. Wait, is that two different ones? Hmm. I like that whole confrontation section. I think that's really interesting. The persuasion is definitely going to come in handy. I see so far the traits that I'm getting kind of punished for not having. Now we've been punished twice for not having the linguistics. That is a necessary step, I think, next. Um... Science has been- science and occultism are both used twice so far. Diversion, politics, conviction, politics. I'm sure etiquette is gonna come in here soon. Logic, agility, yeah. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Oh yeah. Everything in this painting is disturbing. Look at them First trees. time I've seen brushstrokes <laughs> like this. First time he's seen brushstrokes like that. Yeah, they did say. I told you guys they included real pieces of artwork in it. Crucifixion of St. Peter. Mm. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Oh. Surprising for an entrance hall. <laughs> it is a little bit um, intense for an entrance hall, perhaps. <laughs> when you look at the setting right here and you're like, oh. The probably whole, like, setting area is worth more than my house. That's probably fine. The fine marble and everything. The gold. This amount of... Also, tell me this does not look like... This house looks like it is like the golden... Or the... Yeah, the golden order. Alright, I don't want to join them yet. That is really cool. I'm getting uh, Zeus vibes, right? It is Zeus. Is that a lightning? No, it is... I don't know. It looks like Zeus, although it could be Poseidon. Or neither. Blind Oedipus. Mm. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. 
He blinded himself. That one. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. Hmm. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh, Devil's that is Thorn. so cool. I'll keep it. That's going to be really helpful, especially on more difficult people that I am probably at a loss because of my... Oh, because of my traits. Collector coins. Mm. I think my mom's going to be pissed if I open that letter without her. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to go over to the chimney yet. I want to wait just a little bit. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Erudition. At least they allow you to take it, so that whenever you get the skills later, you can come back. All right, let's run upstairs. See if there's I any. Just arrived. It oh. might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. <laughs> On me? Sorry. I have horrible manners, I guess. Let's go over here. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. <laughs> it's the least one can say. It's I've been so longing big. for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just is that cold? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? Mm. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simple. <laughs> just call me George your eminence. Washington. President of the United States of America. Is George Delighted Washington? Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. They did you. say he was... Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. A venerated I must admit that Virginian. I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen That's anything so cool. yet. Generally, it kind of ties Mortimer into the whole um, one of his receptions. Washington spies and, and that whole they stuff. They can't all be here yet. Oh, I Let's love history. See. Most of the time, there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? He's a model of the modern major general. Uh, let's just say my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. Does Washington so know my mother? Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits. Washington, secrets, please. Or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left mm. and right around oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends. Just laugh. Do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? <laughs> Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm. A close friend of Lord de Mortimer, but uh, I do not Lord know the de reason Mortimer. why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you hmm. to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? My lashes, I'm jealous of. Do you see those the thick boys? She's gone missing. Invent something. <laughs> like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You really? know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> is that how the saying goes? Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Yeah. Good lord. Opportunity succeeded. Washington's wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. 
It's the highest distinction. That's how she set it in the up in States. the United States, yeah. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Very cool. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case Ooh. has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. I knew he that was on Lord Mortimer, right? And he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Yeah? Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an <gasps> English aristocrat. Very Gregory Holm. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. We heard that so name earlier. don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, salon. you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take One it the wrong guests. way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Washington Gregory, really likes his fire. Like Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. Oh. So in my vision. I do feel like Washington and I can link up later, whereas it seems like this home figure is a little bit more ambiguous. We know that Washington has a lot of knowledge about my mother, considering his um level in the order itself but i think an opportunity with home is going to be harder to come by instead of washington my vision is more important let's follow home well i don't know I'll if i'd say it like yourself. that <laughs> mr washington i hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion emily please excuse me but excuse me washington like did you happen to have home. hamilton with you i shall see you later Plus, it seems like she wanted friend, to talk to Washington. I hope our dear Giovanni as well. Ah, uh, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he would recover. Hmm, another person. Hold on. Before we continue with this, let's get on with the... All right. George Washington. George Washington is the founding father and first president of the United States of America. Washington shared his life between military and political success. Very early on, he was introduced by Sarah into the upper circles of the influential secret society from France, the Golden Order. He later took to the helm of the American branch. Tired of politics, he wanted to retire to his property in Virginia, <laughs> but that was without taking into account Lord Mortimer who encouraged him to come out of retirement. On the advice of his friend, he ran for a second term and was successful. Invited by Mortimer to his island, Washington likes to attend such social gatherings incognito. But yet he's telling everybody he's Washington. Sir Gregory home. Anytime you have a Sir Gregory, epic. <laughs> Confirmed royalist, Sir Gregory Holm spent his career extending the influence of the United Kingdom throughout the world. That must be why there were so many letters all around. Um, what was it? Egypt and was it India? From the flourishing East India Company to the Spanish trading post in America, he stamped his hallmark on the key decisions made by the world's preeminent economic power. In England, he contributed to the reduction of the national debt and being very wary attached to family values. He invested time in the working class, creating charity schools in order to offer a decent education to the future links in the next industrial revolution. A network builder, Holm always finds pleasure in attending social gatherings of his old friend Lord Mortimer. Hmm. Okay. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. Opportunity missed. Uh, Excuse me, the sir. The political I skill. Been neglecting my duty. I think I would I have sat down. introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm. An old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. He's sitting up so straight, and uh, my character is like laid back. Little haven. Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. 
Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mm -hmm. mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then, one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. We just Lord lost Mortimer her. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and <laughs> the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. Who is that? It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Oh, um, what all do right. you want to know? What did my mother come here for? What is the link between Hillsborough and my mother? Is there anyone else missing other than my mother? Who could have a grudge against my mother? Ah, oh, those bottom two are what I'm leaning towards. Is there anyone else missing? I want to see his reaction because it's very possible. Who would have a grudge against my mother? Oh, I don't know. She's the head of a secret order. Everybody. I'm going to go with this one. Do you know if anyone else has gone missing recently? Not at all, sir. It's as if Sarah has purely and simply vanished into thin air. Mm. That's right. Just take me for an idiot, why don't you? Not even a servant. She's then. vanished Not into even thin air. a servant. I can assure you, we would have been informed. Keep your faith, my son. Only the celebrated Sarah de Ricci could <laughs> vanish before our very eyes. And she will reappear. You will see. <laughs> hmm? No! <laughs> Elizabeth! She has the same kind of visions, maybe. I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Thank Trade you, unlocked. Obliging. Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. So you can earn traits as well. Quick dang. Uh, are you? Her breathing is becoming stable and. Her heart rate, too. Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple. Tattoos, Tattoos on, her hands. on her hands? I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Missy. Can you tell me something about her? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a, a course, course of, of treatment. treatment? That's right. Sia can do wonders. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Are you no. all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. She knows something. Clearly. She's just regained consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. Mm. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to thing. be something important. Actually, kind of like right, a pagan. Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me. I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? He's mm. saying it de la bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Damn Italian. logistics. Ah, <laughs> or not logistics, language. Ah, oh, linguistics. Ah, oh, I'm missing it's out on so many things. No. A long day. I knew it. We need to acquire that skill as soon as possible, y'all. It's biting me in the butt. Also, where was the food? I thought I was getting fed. It's all the more <laughs> delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Mm. The scar is interesting. Washington's face. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. There's nothing else. It's got to be her 
Oh, it's naughty to tell lies. Bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. I mean, I would have missed out either Lord way. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding Ooh. pieces. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth? I think... Oh. 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 I don't know if that was a... Ah. Uh, because he's about to go into who the lady was. I think if I had chosen to stay with Washington and uh, Elizabeth, she would have passed and it would have had the same kind of like, too bad you missed out on that. But he's going to explain who she is. And truly, I didn't, I didn't discover a whole lot by going into the room with them because I didn't have the linguistic aspect to know what her brooch said. So I kind of missed out on some things. Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth and I still would have found Adams. out her name. Brain? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he Do just you happen saw to know ghost. John Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Hmm. Let's go with him. We haven't gone with him yet. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or... He needs to retouch his powder. He doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. The Phantom of the Upper. <laughs> I don't know why that's always what I think of. Elizabeth. Character revealed Elizabeth Adams. Elizabeth Adams is the daughter of. Oh! Boom! History! <laughs> I actually wasn't sure if it was going to be John Adams. I just. Wow. Elizabeth was rejected by her parents at birth and was declared stillborn. Oh, brought up in isolation, she grew into a frail young woman with bipolar disorder, devoured by her terrible fits of anxiety. Her deepest secrets were slowly gnawing away at her from the inside. Despite numerous treatments, nothing could cure the her. The young woman continued to descend into folly. As a friend of Sir Gregory Home and the Lord Mortimer, John Adams decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer's manor in hope that he could help her. With little hope, Elizabeth has now been at the manor for a short while. Oh! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the mm. corridor. We'll find your room. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. But let's explore. Right. Where is my room? But let's explore. I should still look at the walls as well. And we need to find more jelly. <laughs> Intoxicated, you have used four consumable items during a single quest or consumed a num- uh, uh, What? Dialogue timer is no longer viable. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Damn. Okay. I mean, that's good to know. Is that an item? There is something here. Collector's coin. All right, so it's important to note that from now on, if I use more than, what, four? Four consumables in that period? Hold on. There's so many, uh, like, glitters. I keep thinking. Is Napoleon born about? Napoleon. We will see if he's as short so as everybody Napoleon? says. He does have quite the guest list. Thought there would be more to explore out here. 
more to loot. <laughs> but I think I would see a glint pretty easily. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Hmm. <gasps> Actually, we need to remember that at the start of our next quest. Is that blood on the plate? No. Start of the next quest, we get to consume one of those. Golden elixir. Yes. Let's go ahead and consume the golden elixir. I think it's... Is that the top one? It's this one. Here is negative. Oh. I wonder if sleeping or starting the next chapter would have cured it naturally, though. The quorum guide. I think I need that. Considering I was going to walk upstairs so rudely before invited. Hmm. Oh, the Devil's Thorn is going to be so useful later on. Let's see that decorum guide. Parallel lives. <laughs> Rules of civil. Okay, so etiquette. <laughs> yeah. Might want to consume that etiquette one. I love how much, how much Washington loved the fire. Mm. Let's go over here. Uh, it won't let me. Alright, my room must be down here in the hall. I'm telling you, it sounds like Babel music in the Sir background. Johan van Voom there. Johan? Still not anywhere close. I'm getting dizzy from the the walking. I think it's only when I run fast. Hmm. It's not a book that I can take. Lots of artwork. Definitely quite the, quite the house. Manor. This must be it. President George nope. Washington. <laughs> Sorry, George. Well, they went this way, so I think mine is going to be coming up here soon. Jelly. Yeah, give me the honey. Keep thinking. This must be mine? Nope. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Finally. Ah, oh, what a piece of artwork right. to have in the room. Did you see well, that? What shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. No. What should I do? Oh man, open the letter without breaking the seal. Damn. We've been, uh, we've had that come up twice now. I wonder if we can open the letter later. I'm afraid I don't want to break the Eminence's trust. But also, maybe he's being dishonest and it's not a list of names. Maybe it is something. Oh, I think we should leave the letter closed for now, and maybe we can try opening it later when we're able to break it without breaking the seal. Damn, can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to yeah, Piaggi, so... Oh my, this is a horrible room! I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Perfectly normal. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before huh. superior voices. Hmm. It always amuses Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. No, but that's a different oh, one. Like to be his son. Yeah. Bad Saint times Jerome being his son. The angel. Yet again. Art with political undertones with an Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic oh. in a way. 
when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Interesting. Lots of artwork. Uh, Carmelite water gives you a focus state. Your next skill you use will cost no effort. That's important. Carmelite water. That'll be useful. Cool. He really likes Saturn consuming his son. That is used many a times. Oh, look at that. <gasps> yeah, let's try to reach it. I think we have two fragments now. Wow, these are huge rooms. <laughs> Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Mm. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very, Very jolly. jolly. All right, let's go outside. Hmm, somebody else's rooms. That's probably going to be important later. Another statue. Can go in from there. <gasps> Give me the jelly. <laughs> Give me the loot. Hmm. A Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the oh. Bible and in the Quran. More collectors' coins. I can't enter in through there. It must be this one. Yeah. There are a decent amount of collectibles in there, though. Let's explore just a little bit longer, and then we'll head to bed. No! No! <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure we'll be able to explore when we get back up. So I want to see if it's good that we actually ended up consuming a little bit more of the... I almost said Estus. I've been playing Souls games too much. Um... Oh, gosh. No! Okay, this is cool. Episode 1. That's the end of episode 1. These are short, you guys. Okay, so... Off the coast of England, episode 1. Success, I went up to the manor. I pieced together my mother's movements, went on the docks. I convinced Piaget to trust me with his letter. I met Mr. Washington. I chose to join Sir Holm in the small salon. Ah, uh, yep, the alternative path. I could have remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Mr. Washington. I think, and at least we didn't fail any. That was a really short chapter. I, it was definitely a setup to like understanding how it all, like the game develops and how you change the course of the game. I noticed a strange talisman around Adam's neck. I think my biggest regret is I actually wish I should have stayed, or I did stay with George Washington and Elizabeth because I think that they're going to be more of my allies than I realize. Um, although Miss Adams definitely started having a bit of a... She's susceptible to anxiety, right? So she had an increased amount of anxiety when... Um, when I started asking questions about my mother. So she's definitely... There's something there that we need to discover about her but I still think that because of my lack of knowledge on language right now I'm being bit in the butt <laughs> um but I think because of that it made the choice to go join Sir Holm not as successful as it could have been uh, but I'm hoping in chapter two we are able to talk to George Washington and find out more about that um, we hopefully will get the amount of skills acquired to read the letter and see if the Eminence is being true. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much it. I'm glad we didn't fail. I think my like early on thoughts of this episode and just the game in general, I love the development of the traits and the, I don't want to hit next yet. <laughs> I love the development of the traits, the skills, and I like that when you start the next uh, mission or whatever it is, this is just episode one, part one though. So there's more parts. It's not like episode one is over, right? Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we're putting into l linguistics a hundred percent. I know it does cost a little bit more. I think I want to put that into two so that I'm able to keep up with the game. Let's go ahead and throw into 
Mm, we do have some books on etiquette, and I want to say conviction. I think it would be very important to... Wait, I received a free point on manipulation. Huh. Agility. Logic. Let's put into questioning level two, vigilance level two. And that's all my points for now. I'm going to stick with that. Uh, like I said, we put two skill points into ling linguistics just because of the lack of or the loss of valuable information throughout the whole first episode. Um, questioning and vigilance, I think, are always going to be important so that we can discover more things and we can also be more vigilant when talking to individuals and questioning them better. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and stop here today um, and I'll get started on the next chapter. I so far really like the game. I think it's intriguing. It might have felt a little bit slow, but I was also trying to get a better understanding for how the game felt and a little bit of the character development so far. Like, look, you're checking off all the right parts. I love history, love art. Um, and I love mystery. I'm such a big mystery person <laughs> and horror kind of aspect. So it does seem like it's going to get a little dark. I'm hoping. Oh, I shouldn't say I'm hoping, but I think it's going to get a little dark with the introduction of more occult things and stuff like that. But let me know what you guys think about this, um, what you guys thought about this playthrough and this game. And then let me know if you guys would like to see more episodes. Um, so far, I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm going to continue on. But yeah, definitely let me know how you felt about it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for giving me time out of y'all's lives to be here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.